you know, the jobs number on Friday, uh, it yeah. sort of confounded a lot of the uh, mm -hmm. presumptions out there that really good economic data would immediately be on a reflex basis, bad news for stocks. You got a very brief sell off, uh, then recovered in the market. Does it tell you anything in terms of were we bracing uh, for more of the recession is here type scenario and therefore there was some relief in there? Uh, or should we not really draw too much of a message out of it? Well, you know, the, the message in the first half of the year that, that we were all telling ourselves is uh, there's an increasing risk of a recession. I think uh, we basically experienced what I would call a growth recession. There really hasn't been any growth in the first half of the year, and that might be the case for the second half of the year. I think the key is inflation. It's, it's less, than, less important is uh, the, the labor market than is the uh, pr pricing environment. And the pricing environment... Uh, there's some indications that things are moderating. I think today, for example, we saw that the Federal Reserve Bank of New York put out its July survey of consumer expectations uh, for inflation, and they moderated quite uh, significantly for both the one-year and the three-year out uh, forecast, but not enough to really dissuade the Fed from responding to the big wage increase that we saw on Friday's number uh, with a 75 basis point increase. And by the way, last week we had uh, five Fed officials uh, basically walk back uh, Chairman Powell's uh, impl implications that uh, we're getting close to the end of tightening. Yeah, that's a big question out there, right? I mean, the idea that Fed officials don't want to stray from, you know, the framework that they've built to this point. Right. They've said they want to see the numbers really go in their direction in a persuasive way. And arguably, when stocks go up, uh, you know, when credit spreads come come in uh, and financial conditions therefore get looser, they might see it as an opportunity to do more on the tightening I think side. That's, that, that's, that's, that's true. But at the same time, uh, let's uh, keep in mind that uh, quantitative tightening is basically uh, started already, but will be uh, much more aggressive in terms of reducing the size of their balance sheet uh, starting September. And that, I think, is equivalent to a tightening. Uh, so I know there's been some controversy about Powell's comment uh, a week and a half ago that uh, uh, we are at neutral, at 2.5%, uh, the Fed funds rate is neutral. And he may not be that far off, since I think uh, QT is equivalent to at least at least a 50 basis point hike in the Fed funds rate. And the strong dollar, same thing, at least a 50 basis point hike. So I don't think the Fed's going to have to go that high. I do expect one more increase of 75 basis points at the end of September, and that's when they might pause. Yeah, well, he did say they'll, uh, they'll try to be nimble. We'll see if, uh, yeah. if that comes through. Uh, Ed, thank you very much.